Can you tell me your name and the name of your website and what's on there? Okay, I am Tom and my website is www.tomofholland.com and I talk a lot about uh, darning clothes, repairing clothes, so inspiring people to re repair their own stuff. And, and are you wearing anything that you have repaired? Actually, I'm not wearing anything I've pre uh, repaired at the moment, but I have got some stuff on that I've made myself. Have you? Tell me what yeah. you made yourself. So, we can start with the socks. Okay. So my socks, um, these are hand knitted by myself, and the heels and the toes were knitted with a different wool that's really sturdy, and I even spun that wool myself. Wow, brilliant. And the trousers I make myself, and the jumper I make myself. So a lot of the things, in answer oh, to your question. Oh, <laughs> and my, my uh, boxer shorts. So nearly yeah. everything? Nearly everything, okay. yeah. So the answer to who made your clothes, in your case, is absolutely you. Yes, for and, most of it, and, yeah. And why is that satisfying? Can, can you explain to someone who's never done that what, it, what they're missing? What are you missing if you don't make your own clothes? Um, well, one, one, you can um, make something that you like rather than what you can buy in the shops. Because that doesn't always, you know, so add exactly up. exactly what you want. Yeah, exactly. Well, depending on skill levels, okay. <laughs> but close to what I want. And because I'm a creative person, I just get a lot of satisfaction out of making things. What is, anyway. the, what is that satisfaction? That's such a difficult question. Um, I just like... What do I like about making... So I just... The, just the process of creating um, something with your own hands, it's just... Yeah, I can't really describe it very well. I find it very satisfying. So you're in a different state. You're, you're in a different state, right. yeah. Um, and then I think when it comes to clothes, the added thing is that it's something that's functional as well, and I find that very satisfying too. When I ask most people who made their clothes, there's a larger sense of someone else, somewhere else. Yes. And we don't know who that person is. No. Do you imagine, it's impossible for you to guess, but do you imagine that that same satisfaction and state, state of flow is probably experienced by all of those people too? You mean the people that the make people them? The people who are making you know, these cords that I'm wearing. I don't, um, really wear. I don't think they have the same feeling about this because they need to make so many, it's just a job. Right. Um, I think if you go to a tailor on you know, German Street or somewhere, down in Savile Row, they might get that feeling because they put a lot of skill in and they get paid for what, the, you know, the skill they put in is actually rewarded properly. Yes. Whereas cheap clothes, these people, you know, like the Rana factory, blah, 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 all that stuff, you know, these people, they, they're not worth, sorry, they're not being given what's worth because I think they are also very skilled makers yes. but somehow either because this material you know it's cost constraint so they need to use cheap materials need to make things quickly so the way it's put together yeah. is not very good but right. it's more because they need to make a hundred rather than right. one over a whole weekend yes. you know, if I look at my trousers what do you think might be um, the, the benefit of our campaign to ask people to think about the people who made their clothes? So, so I've been thinking about this myself because I do lots of, lots of darning uh, workshops and one of the reasons, one of the things that I realize is when I make, you know, I made this jumper by hand, if this has a hole in it, I want to look after it because I put so much time, skill and effort in it. Um, and then, so, then the darning, again, I like to do a really good job. So I've investigated, how do I do it, what's the best technique? And so I have this relationship with this jumper already. 
and I've started to realise that um, I've always um, I've always bought clothes with the view of Wango from a long time, even if they were cheap, that I wanted to repair them as well. And I realised when I started to repair shop bought clothes properly, I also started to develop a relationship because I'm putting something of myself in it. Right, so as soon as you put something in. Yeah, you get something back. Right. And you want to look after it more. And I think what I've realised making my own clothes, it's actually quite difficult. You know, you need to build up quite a lot of skills to, if you want to make your whole outfit. Yeah. Um, and these people that made that t-shirt that cost four pounds, they also have these skills, so you should actually also look after those clothes because somebody's put in a lot of skill and effort. So that's that's my take on it. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome.